焼く体が温まってきたぜ Welcome back to the Ghost in Town channel. Today we will rank the top Ochiha characters from the strongest to the weakest. Bear in mind that this list compares the characters in their prime. Also, the weakest is still very strong in comparison to the other characters in Naruto. But someone within this list has to be the weakest among the elite, right? So let's get into it. Starting from the weakest Ochiha. Uchiha. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Uchiha. Itachi. Before the bandwagon police comes at me, let's get the facts straight. Starting with the man's sickness, it is no excuse on being on the lower half of my list. Y'all make me stick to my stomach. Y'all make me sick. His chakra levels are average at best. He's almost like War or Kakashi, who seem to be low on chakra at all time. Like, how did you even survive, man? Anyways, did I even mention that this fool only has a regular Mangiko Sharingan? And for those who want to argue that Edu Tensei Itachi was the healthiest version we could see him, I get it, bro. He was able to easily defeat Nagato, kill a bee, and Chakramo Naruto, blah, blah, blah. But do you have to be a corpse in order for you to do that? He wouldn't be able to do that with his Mangiko Sharingan if he was alive. The drawbacks are no excuses. They are his weaknesses. Get that straight. Coming next is Uchiha Shisui. And I know this character has to be the most hype and wasted talent in the history of anime. Not even Naruto. In the history of anime. But Itachi himself stated that Shisui was stronger than him in every aspect. Even in terms of Genjutsu, which is arguably Itachi's strongest, strongest weapon, Kotobe, whatever it is called, is far more superior. And while it can only be used once every decade, Itachi's Genjutsu is far better since it can be used on a regular basis if needed. However, in terms of how powerful the two techniques are, Shisui wins the race easily. Coming next is the biggest simp in anime history. The man, the myth, the simp himself, Uchiha Ubito. This fool really started a whole war. war for someone who gave him a kiss on the cheek at the age of what? 12? Anyways, do I need to say why he was stronger than Itachi and Shisui together? This man could literally clap their cheeks using the sword of Ronoboku. Additionally, Naruto and Sasuke didn't even win their fight against Jobito. Talk no Jutsu won the fight. However, this man was too emotional to maximize on his power. Once again, his simply significant role which led to his downfall in the end. But let's be honest, he was still nerfed by Kishimoto since Obito could not use his camera to avoid physical contact. Can you imagine how much more invisible he would be? God damn. Kamui and six bad power, that's a great combo, man. Mother is the definition of a man who stays true to his word. He literally came back from the afterlife and made his dream come true, as well as literally making the other's dream come true. How can you hate this man? A true legend indeed. Once this man came back to life, he showed his true moves. Without eyes, this man defeated a Sasuke with Eternal Mangeku Sharingan, Edo Tensei Tobirama, and a clone of Edo Tensei Hashirama. Not only that, he was barely injured against all of the tailed beasts, and once he received one of his Rinnegan back, he defeated them in a few seconds, can you imagine? Once Mother absorbed the ten tails and gained both of his Rinnegan eyes, he was untouchable for a period of time. And since this Madara has all the tailed beasts inside of him, Except a half of Kurama, of course. He's levels above Obito, who only had a fraction of the nine tails and the eight tails chakra. 
However, this man was still defeated by Mike Guy while having 10 turns and one of his Rinnegan. And let's be honest, if he wasn't immortal, he would have died during that fight. And by the way, that fight is top 5 uh, Naruto fights ever. But you're not ready for that conversation yet, so we'll have it another day. Anyways, Madara is the true definition of an antagonist and will forever be goated. He was robbed by Kaguya, man. That, that was a sad sight to see. Coming first is not what you think. The strongest Uchiha up to date is... Kakashi Sensei. Nah, I'm joking. But of course it is Uchiha Sarada. All jokes aside, adult Sasuke stands alone as the strongest Uchiha to have ever lived. And don't come for my neck just yet and listen. Listen, man. I have, I have a good reasons for that. Teen Sasuke was already stronger than Itachi and Shisui, argue with the work because I ain't having it today. And once Teen Sasuke activated the Rinnegan, thanks to receiving Hagoromo's 6 path chakra, he was already on par and even stronger than Jubito. And since Kamui is out of the equation, Sasuke can easily harm Obito's body thanks to the 6 path chakra boost. And let's not forget that he sliced M Madara in half. I'm not downplaying this Obito, but Teen Sasuke wins the fight after having multiple injuries, of course. But although Sasuke, on the other hand, stumps on Obito all day, every day, forever. Teen Sasuke may not win against a mother with both of his reigning guns. However, adult Sasuke can. After all, both Sasuke and Naruto clap Momoshiki's cheeks with mid effort at the most, and Momoshiki is said to be stronger than Kaguya, who is levels above Madara himself, so you did the math on that. Adult Sasuke is nerfed in Boruto for no reason at all. We all know that. He clearly stated that he could defeat Kaguya level opponents on his own. Do I need to defend Madara at this point, man? Come on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the list. Let me know if you agree. By the way, you should, but also if you disagree and comment down why your list is better than mine, and we'll discuss it, of course. Thanks for watching and see y'all the next time. It's your boy Ghost. <laughs>